Hello and a very happy new year to you all. Let's hope for a great 2021. And in my first video of the year, I'm going to be making little Del Boy's brother Rodney of Only Fools and Horses. So let's go see how I get on. So to start, I'm just going to wipe down my clay balls here, as I usually do, just to ensure that I've got a nice clean working environment. And just as a tip, I often use a little bit of sacrificial clay just to ensure that I'm, you know, picking up any tiny bits of debris that might be kicking around. And I'm going to start the project by working on Rodney's head. Just, you know, as it's often a good idea to get a sense of the character that you're working on. Interestingly, I did actually make an attempt of Rodney's head um, just before Christmas and I don't know what it is, but some people's faces are a lot easier to capture than others. Delboy kind of came naturally to me really because he kind of looked a lot like my dad, um, which was kind of interesting really. But with Rodney, it was just a completely different story really. Nicholas Lindhurst has a very oval shaped head, but other than the bowl cuts that he has as the character Rodney, um, there aren't any sort of um, majorly, well, you know, uh, unique characteristics going on, so it's really difficult sometimes to pick out features when somebody's quite sort of fine featured, really. In the case of Del Boy or David Jason, he's got a very square shaped face and he's got huge eyes, so you know, it's a lot kind of easier to work with really, but um, yeah, I just did my best with uh, Rodney, but uh, you'll see what he looks like at the end. And now I've just moved on to the base and I'll make his outfit uh, essentially from the shoes upwards. So for some facts about Rodney, he is the assistant market trader to Del Boy's market trader position and he took on the role as assistant market trader really because he was really worried that he wasn't able to kind of get another job really. I think he left school with two GCSEs and a criminal record so he yeah, just decided it was his best option really to go and work for his big brother. And interestingly, Rodney was based on the life of uh, John Sullivan, who was the series creator. And he himself has an older sibling, and as a youngster was kind of a dreamer really, very much like Rodney. So I was kind of interested to find that out actually, because I, for years, thought Nicholas Lindhurst um, sang the theme tune to Only Fools and Horses because, well, it just sounds remarkably like him, but it's actually John Sullivan, so that was kind of interesting to find out, really. I think both the uh, intro and the outro are really great theme tunes for Only Fools and Horses and I think they came into play on series two. I did find on YouTube the um, original theme tune used for series one and by crikey I can see why they changed it. It was just so kind of blah really but thankfully John Sullivan helped to make the theme tunes themselves just completely iconic. So here I'm just sizing up Rodney to ensure that he's a lot taller than Del Boy, which he is. And this project gave me a lot of new things to work on really. I've not as yet created a check shirt so it was kind of nice to give it a go really. And uh, yeah, his shirt is in black and, and red so I just created um, just a series of lines with polymer clay and uh, just repositions strips of them. As you'll see here, just cutting them first. 
just ensuring that they're all the same kind of uh, thickness really and just placing them at uh, a slightly different position as you'll see here kind of like brickwork really apologies for any background noise today i am trying to do this in one edit <laughs> where possible i'm sure i will make some mistakes though but um yeah i've had all sorts of um health problems going on over christmas so i'll explain um in a little while so here i've got a nice kind of checkerboard effect going on so i can just use that as the shirts that will go underneath his uh, camo jacket so i was really pleased actually with uh, how that turned out and similarly i've never made camouflage before so this was my very first attempt and i was pretty pleased with how it worked out really essentially i'm just using kind of three earthy tones representative of camouflage and uh, just building those up and every now and again just put it through the pasta roller really so there we go it's starting to look a lot more like camouflage now isn't it it's uh, amazing what you can do with pasta rollers actually I, I would really recommend that you you get one if you're into polymer clay because there's uh, yeah just all sorts of stuff that you can do with them I use the Atlas Marcato machine or the Marcato Atlas machine I can't remember which way around it is but um, I'll link to that below if you're, if you're interested in getting one too it's certainly the best pasta roller that I've uh, come across to be honest I've used Sculpey machines as well which are pretty good but um, yeah the Atlas machine wins for me so here this is looking like a big mess isn't it but there it's been through the pasta roller again and uh, yeah it's looking a lot more convincing now as camouflage so that can be added on as a jacket so yeah basically I've had a bit of a nightmare over Christmas and that's um, I've been having problems with dry eye for um, a couple of years now but they've just got way worse over Christmas the tear uh, functionality um, or tear making <laughs> functionality has, has gone from my glands so I've no idea why but also um, some of my salivary glands aren't working either so it's been a bit of a nightmare sleeping actually so um, my GP's referred me for um, an appointment at the hospital next month so yeah we'll see how that that goes but it's yeah been a bit of a, <laughs> a tricky Christmas I have to say So here I can now make Rodney's iconic bowl haircuts. I don't know if it's the nicest haircut in the world, um, but it was very fashionable at the time, you know, during the 80s. Um, who knows why, but <laughs> yeah, it uh, certainly helps to make him look a lot more like Rodney, I think. If you're new to my channel, my name's Lizzie and I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator and I try to make weekly videos about my polymer clay sculptures so if you like what you see by all means go and hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell for notifications as well. And here he is all done and gosh I'm really really pleased with this one he turned out way better than I ever imagined which is always a good result so I think he and Del look really really like the characters so yeah thanks for watching take care see you soon bye bye lovely jubbly cosmic